we're at Jinnah International and we're leaving for Dubai in the next couple of hours. July has started off crazy. So, so let me recap. So a little bit before we went to Dubai, we threw birthday for my brother. It was his big 3-0. He was turning 30 on his birthday day because it was a weekday. We literally just went out for dinner. We went to this place called Crying Tiger, which is like this Thai place on Nishat in phase six. This has a tail. <laughs> and the ears. This is a Pikachu. <laughs> Like a what about this one? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking! <laughs> okay. uh, it's still a Pokemon, I know that much. Charmander? No, Psyduck. Okay. <laughs> I love it. It looks so much like you. It's got the eyes. <laughs> it is. Very delicious food, very delicious apps. I also made him a cake. <laughs> It was like an Xbox controller cake um, to kind of like hint Easter egg, if you will, at the party that we planned on Saturday. Happy birthday to you! Me and Dua were in full party planning mode. We had no idea, so we were trying to keep it as hush hush as possible. It was a super nostalgic, like 90s themed birthday. The idea that me and Dua had was that we wanted to take him back to his childhood and we wanted him to feel like a kid again. So we had Poke Bowling. We <laughs> I have to show the straws. <laughs> I take full credit for this. <laughs> I take full credit for this. <laughs> I, I love them. Oh. And one of his fans thought it would be hilarious if we took pictures of his aunt's face and made masks for everyone. So that's exactly what we did. <laughs> it was time for the surprise. I called him for quote unquote dinner and he came downstairs. Happy birthday What you must know about my brother is that he hates social media and he hates looking at his face. So for him to walk into a room of like 30 plus people all wearing his face, singing happy birthday to me in the most monotone tone possible was absolutely hilarious to me and Dua and it felt like revenge for all the years of pranks that he's played on us. Look at the bar, by the way. Oh my god, this is Kazan, next to the Kazan. You guys are creepy. Like I also made him like a Nintendo like Switch cake, which is so crazy of me because like I've never made a cake that big before. It was so much fun. And then the next day, we got up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and headed to Jinnah International. Oh, if I leave, then like I'll leave all of my problems here. My grief will be here. All of that will be here. I'll just go and have fun for like two weeks. That wasn't the case, like at all. <laughs> I cried so much, so much, all the time, every day. There was this one point where we were going down like a main road and I looked off to the side and there was like this huge like KitchenAid showroom place. And that's the place me and my dad went when I started taking like baking seriously. And I like fully pressurized him to buy me a KitchenAid. Even though I had no business at the time, I had no nothing. I was just like, I'm going to make this work. Please buy me this machine. But I remember passing that showroom and I was just like, whoa, that was just three, four years ago. Like it wasn't that long ago. Um, so just like right now, those feelings like started welling up. It's really difficult to like be in a place that you have so many like poor memories with someone with. It wasn't a fun trip and because of that and legal reasons and not being able to like take my camera to like a lot of these places, I didn't really record much and I didn't really, really like hold myself to that either. Um, there are a couple of like funny moments that I'll like sprinkle in now, um, but nothing that was like much to write home about. I 
I'm just trying to make the black money white. <laughs> Are you implying that we have black money? <laughs> I found these tiny little things thinking that this is a tiny bit of water because you know coffee makes you parch they give you water with your coffee I thought they would give me fun I was so oh my god they're so cute so I took one and I opened it and I downed it like a shot and what was it do? she drank simple syrup and then spit it right back out into this container Okay, don't expose me like that. <laughs> but I just took a shot of simple syrup for no reason whatsoever. We should take this for tomorrow's coffee though. Shabaki coffee. <laughs> for tomorrow. <laughs> the next day. Came back home and then I was kind of like full steam ahead with work. I did also make this delicious savory brioche situation. And I had this brioche dough that basically had over fermented or fermented to like its maximum. And then while I was like doing these orders, I was like cleaning up and this bowl of brioche dough was just sitting there. And I was just like, man, I don't want this to go to waste. I really do want to make something out of it, but I can't be asked right now. So I made a savory dough that had scallions, ginger, garlic, sesame. That's about it, I think. The recipe is here on my Substack. So if you do want to like make it or try a version of it, I would implore you to. I also made a savory French toast from that bread. Because it was like a brioche and I'd had it for a couple of days and it started to get really stale. So repurposed it into something else and made like a French toast out of it. And it's so random because that was probably one of the best breakfasts I've made for myself all year. One night I did get invited to my lovely friend Sarah's house for a little girl's night. And I was having like too much fun. Like it was one of those things where like you didn't want to like get up and leave. <laughs> Um, even though it was like almost like 2 in the morning when I did leave, I just didn't want to go. I was just having so much fun. Also, I'm obsessed with Sarah's dog. He's so jalo. I think he was kind of in love with me. And he kept coming up to me and kept giving me his ball and being like, please throw it so I can go fetch it. I just think he was the cutest thing in the world and he deserves a shout out on the vlog. I was supposed to be leaving for the beach in exactly 30 minutes and this happened. It is pissing it down. It is raining so much. I have a bad feeling. My beach plan is gone. Two hours later. So supposed to go to the beach but now we're going to the beach why are you supposed to go to the beach because it was raining in the last clip like, oh. it's raining it's pouring dust Of course, there was also a lot of food. There was a lot of trying new places. This is one day where Zaira and I tried to go to Chop Chop Walk for dinner, and there was so much rush. It was a Sunday night, and there was so many
tree is a tree and a friendly row of butter too. And then literally last night, I convinced my sister to not only dye, but cut my hair too. Hello everybody, Dua is trying to dye my hair again. I've been wanting to go to the border for like a week, week and a half. But as previously mentioned, my mental health is in the fucking shitter. Not only is my mental health in the shitter, my financial health is also in the shitter. That's what happens when you're self-employed and you have no motivation to work, so you're not making money. <laughs> all I really wanted was a straight cut just to get rid of all my dead ends and to kind of like, refresh my color no bleach no nothing just a refresh so i convinced my sister to do it and it was really chaotic because there was at one point where she started cutting it and it was at a diagonal so my cut and color is done i did recolor it just to get some red back in my hair which doesn't look like it's there i'm gonna style it a little bit later to see how it comes out here's my hairdresser now <laughs> How do you feel about your work, Miss Lua? I feel like it could definitely be better, but it's not the worst I've done. I don't think it's bad. I'm only worried about that one the section in the back. <laughs> that is a bit uneven. I think it came out good. So everyone leave a thank you Dua in the comments below. And to be honest, that's been July. My personal and emotional health kind of took the forefront. It's been a really tough month. If you watched the last vlog, June was filled with so many highs that July just doesn't compare to it. If you stuck around and watched this entire video, firstly, I love you. Thank you for doing that. See you in August with hopefully a couple of better things to say. <laughs> Bye!